Howdy! And welcome to another episode of the almost world famous Cactus Atlas. Today I'm on the road journeying through remote regions of Arizona, southeast Arizona to be specific, in search of the grave, the final resting place of Johnny Ringo. So if you'd like to join me and see what this is all about, stick around and let's go find out together. There is some beautiful country out here. A lot of just very dry, shrubby grassland out here. This gravesite is something that I've wanted to see for years. Um, I live in Arizona in the region of around Phoenix, but this is way out there. So I started my journey this morning uh, at Chiricahua, where I camped the last couple nights. And that's where I'm heading now. I'm heading down Route 181 south. Okay, I came to a, an intersection where 181 very abruptly turns right. And there's a sign for Turkey Creek Road, which I believe is the road we want to take. And once you turn on Turkey Creek Road, this is what you're going to be dealing with for a few miles heading off that way towards those mountains where you will find the final resting place of Johnny Ringo. So far, you know, driving down this road, I'm in a very small uh, Volkswagen Golf, my wife's car, and I'm having no problem with this road. It's pretty smooth. So, so far, so good. But do know your car is gonna get filthy. <laughs> if, especially a smaller car like this, it's covered in dust. All right, I found it. I can't believe it. I did it. Drove miles down this road, coming from this direction. This is Turkey Creek Road. You're gonna pass a private road called Sunglow Road right down there. You're gonna do a hard bank right, then left, come around this corner. And here, you can see, there's a pull-off where you park your car. And it's hard to believe that right behind this gate and through a short trail down to a creek, we're gonna see the gravesite of Johnny Ringo, the final resting place of a famed outlaw from the Old West. Now this is private property, but the owners of this property are gracious enough to allow folks to come in here so long as you behave. Ringo's gravesite. All right, so here we go. I'm going to enter now. How does this work? Oh, duh. <laughs> And we just take this path down here. Looks like the path has been well worn over time. And we're coming up to a sign that has some rules that we want to abide by. So they do have hours here, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. It is private property. Um, there is no maintained trail, obvious things. So kind of walking back here, a little bridge, some old farm equipment. It's very quiet back here. I know there's a house over there. I wonder if that's the owners of the property. If it is, and you see this video, thank you for allowing us to come visit this. And already I can see right off in the distance, you could see the grave site. So let's go take a look. This is really cool, actually. I am really excited to see this. And the journey was part of the adventure too, getting down here, so makes it all worthwhile. And here we are, coming up on the final resting place of the uh, Old West legend, Johnny Ringo. What a beautiful place, I guess, to meet your end. I see deer. You see those mule deer out there? In that meadow out beyond? What a beautiful scene. There's a plaque here, historic site plaque, that gives you some information about Johnny Ringo. So what that plaque basically says over here is what the historical record says that Johnny Ringo is found dead at the base of a nearby oak tree. Not sure if it's one of these trees or one of the fallen trees, 
uh, with a bullet hole in his temple. Um, his horse was found miles away and um, they ruled it a suicide. So if anybody sees this video and they know the answer, is this the tree? Maybe this fallen tree? Maybe this tree? Is this where he took his life and his body was found? Now the interesting thing is, it seems looking at other videos and reading a lot of stuff on YouTube, people aren't satisfied with the suicide explanation. Um, you know, they think that he was shot. There's lots of different theories. I've heard anything from Doc Holliday and it's portrayed that way in certain films to other folks. Um, being that he was an outlaw and killed other men and apparently had a bad temper, I could see, you know, other possibilities. But the suicide possibility also seems very likely to me. Apparently he was drunk out of his mind around the time, you know, he was seen by others around the time when he committed suicide, drunk out here. Maybe his horse got away from him and he's depressed and just decided that's it, I'm done <laughs> in a drunken stupor. You never know, that does seem pretty likely to me also. Although maybe it's not as romantic of an end as people would like to have. So of course, when his body was discovered, as the sign over here states, they pretty much just buried his body where they found it. Right here, in front of us. Yeah, this is really amazing. I wasn't expecting such a peaceful scene, actually, there in the background. Um, and it's just so beautifully quiet out here. Like, we're just so far out away from civilization that not too many sounds other than the sound of birds in the trees, the occasional insect flying by. Yeah, this is a very serene place. We'll come take a quick peek too down here. Down by the creek, there's a little trail here. I don't want to go too far and I don't want to outstay my welcome here. But this is just too beautiful to pass up. Ah, oh, so quiet. I have a long drive back to Phoenix and I want to spend a few minutes here just quiet without filming to enjoy the scene and the serenity. But before I do, I want to give you a few final thoughts about what I thought about my visit here today at the gravesite of Johnny Ringo. Um, I'm a big fan of the Old West, the legends, the history. So this really fills and checks off a box off of my list of things to do and see when it comes to that stuff. Um, so if you're out in this region, maybe you're visiting Chiricahua National Monument, for example. This is about a half an hour south of there. You could probably plan an itinerary and fit this in um, if you do it right. And you're probably not going to spend too much time here anyway, and they don't want you to loiter around anyway, so that works out. I am very, very pleased that I did this. I feel like I finally can mark something off my list that I've wanted to do for a very long time, and it was very well worth it to me and maybe one day I'll come back. If you're new here, please subscribe to our channel, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, hit that notification bell to stay informed anytime we release new videos, which we're doing all of the time. You can also find us on social media at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram under the name Cactus Atlas. Well, I'm gonna go pay my respects to Mr. Ringo and then hit the road. I hope this video was helpful to you and that you enjoyed it, and we'll see you on a new adventure really soon. And until then, take it easy.